Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I'm going to experiment on Bockingford tinted blue paper with watercolor with a um, subject I haven't tried painting before and the subject is bees. Uh, the other day we went to a barbecue for a friend and it was his birthday. And you know, throughout the barbecue, he said a few times that his mother was getting into um, beekeeping and had wanted me to uh, paint something or start thinking of something in regards to, um, to bees. So this is kind of my first delve into it going to uh, make some um, you know, flowers for them as well. It's just imaginary scene, just kind of just having fun uh, painting and going to town. So mixing up, I have the silver, silver black velvet sword brush, the dagger brush. Mixing up a green with um, lemon yellow and ultramarine while we speak. There's no uh, photo references or anything like that. So let's switch over. I should probably try the petals of a flower first and then go to that green. So here's some alizarin crimson. You might ask what type of flower this is. I have no idea. Literally just making it up. And having uh, fun. Kind of using the Chinese brush painting, the Sumier approach. We could probably call these orchids. That one right there. Let's do kind of an unopened bud up here. Then I'll switch over to the green I was playing around with. So ultramarine and lemon yellow. This is going to be the leaves coming off. Now this brush works just so good on this. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. You can tell for two reasons, uh, the quality of the video and <laughs> the quality of my painting. But, oh wow, this is just working so well. Let's get a little bit of burnt umber on there. Maybe a little bit too much. a little bit on there for the veins. Okay, now is on to the bees. Um, thinking that mixture of the burnt umber and ultramarine will give me my dark. I could probably throw my Payne's Gray in there as well. Not quite sure. Guys, no growling. The cats are growling at each other. 
let's see. I'm looking at different like kind of clip art for bees to kind of get an idea of the, the body shape. I was looking at different pictures of bees. I'm gonna give them big wings. So yeah, so my friend Terry was saying that his um, mother was getting into beekeeping and you know, that is pretty cool. Um, bees, you know, very important to our environment. Um, my fr other friend used to have a whole bunch of beehives. One day he sent me a picture and his face was just, um, like just so like blown up from a, a, a bee sting. And it turns out he was like allergic to bees. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, oh, just allergic reaction. But I think he wound up getting rid of them because his wife had gotten stung a few times. She wasn't allergic, but uh, his face just blew up. Just taking a little dark, feeding colors in. Kind of just thinking about the composition here. I didn't plan anything out. Like this was literally just a kind of exploratory um, painting. Um, and I know I was talking about how experiment, experiment, experiment. But I think this size is just really working out. Maybe something right like that. may leave this in that fashion. In fact, since it's so oriental inspired, I might even stamp it. Let's see, the painting's not even dry yet. And here I am playing with that. I was gonna put yellow in between, but I think that'll be future um, experiments as well. Kind of just the alternating. Very pleased with how uh, simplistic and um, straight to the point this one was. I did not intend for this to happen. So I'm gonna stamp it in relationship to the mat. this paper it was a um, five by seven sheet and sorry eight by ten it was just kind of cropped in that fashion so on that note I did not intend for this video to be this short I thought it was gonna be more exploratory but um, I feel like a lot was learned in such a short period of time so I'm gonna be back with more um, playing with the rigor, uh, sorry, the dagger brush and playing with uh, bees and flowers. Actually, I did not take the yellow like I had wanted to. And I had wanted to put some there. Let me, um, let me grab some of that first. A subtle difference, but I felt that was important. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.